Right now, students just completed their training on the scuba diving portion of the day today. Here you can see they're cleaning out their gear and bundling all that stuff up. Retired U.S. astronaut Clayton Anderson teaches this course. He says the goal isn't to train the next generation of astronauts, but to teach students to think in ways they haven't before. We're still taking our 12 seconds to the surface. Okay. These students are learning by hitting the water, not the books. So skydiving and scuba diving, like, you know, why not? 12 students, 10 from Iowa State, two from Tuskegee University in Alabama, spend a week at Iowa State learning space flight operations. It's a great opportunity um, just to do things that I've never done before. Students spend 11 hour days skydiving, scuba diving, learning how to do survival training, flying flight simulators, among other lessons. What's the hole for, do you think? Think operationally. It was all Clayton Anderson's idea. It just dawned on me that we need to think a little differently. He's a senior lecturer at ISU who just so happens to be a retired U.S. astronaut. Anderson is quick to say he's not training students to be astronauts, but... In order to make them more attractive to employers, I'm trying to get them to change the way they think and to think more operationally. Think like an operator. Think like an astronaut. Still, Ty Singleton says astronaut training is what drew him to the workshop. I'm from Houston, Texas, so I grew up around NASA and everything, so my whole life I've always wanted to be an astronaut. If the other students aren't as enthusiastic about becoming an astronaut, Anderson says they'll still walk away thinking in new ways. If they're not going to be an astronaut someday, they, they will be a more effective person wherever they go with whatever they do. This is the second year the workshop has been held here at Iowa State. Anderson says his eventual goal is to have a space flight operations academic minor here at Iowa State. Live in Ames, Vanessa Pang, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.